Car burglaries, they're happening more and more across Kansas City. And one of the scariest things about them is that they can happen really, really fast. We came to a car recycling yard here in Kansas City, Missouri to meet with a police officer so he could show us exactly how quickly someone can get into your vehicle and you might never even know they were there. It takes just seconds and thieves are just waiting here in the metro area. It has just exploded to target your car. I would classify this now as a major problem and has been for a couple of years. It's just grown in numbers every year. And all it takes is this little tool, which we bought on Amazon for less than 10 bucks. It likely won't even set off your car alarm. Angela Ganser is a recent victim. It was a nice Sunday afternoon, you know, in January. She and her son had come to Shawnee Mission Park with their dog. She came back to find a window of her car shattered. So I had a nice person wallet, your usual makeup, you know, credit cards, and driver's license. So in total, we're about $1,800 out. The Johnson County Park Police have put up signs to warn people, which Ganser said she did notice that day. She thought she had taken steps to protect her car, putting her purse in the back seat. I guess I just had that it won't happen to me mentality that so many of us have. Adding insult to injury, the Park Police believe they have identified the person who took the purse. They released these surveillance photos to us, showing the woman they say used Ganser's credit card. But if she was one of the ones that tends to travel the country, our chances of catching her probably are not, not very good. Captain Weber is referring to the Felony Lane Gang, a group that started in Florida and travels the country breaking into vehicles. Their name refers to the outside lane at banks, where they often go once they've stolen your checkbook, because out there, they're harder to identify. There's even a Facebook page dedicated to warning people about their activity. One of the popular targets, daycare parking lots. So with this minivan right here, it doesn't look like she took her purse with her. Johnson County Parks officer Nathaniel LaRue watched one parking lot with us. But I just saw a lady get into her car and her purse was just sitting there along the floorboard as well. We saw cell phones and purses inside several empty, often unlocked cars, including Nicole's. Yeah, you just think you're going to be in and out. There's people Nicole's calm is a strong contrast to Angela, who doesn't leave her purse in her car anymore and has told strangers to be more careful. Plus, she's still a little nervous approaching her car, afraid that it might have happened again. And if you think that you definitely see someone breaking a car window, watch the beginning of this story again. Did you notice the man on the left side of the screen? Watch closely. You can see the moment he shatters the back window of that car. Don't be overconfident, or it could happen to you. Taylor Hymnus, 41 Action News.